Welcome back, everybody. Veterans furious as lawmakers attempt to balance the budget on the backs of America's heroes. The new budget cuts pensions for younger veterans by thousands of dollars, while the president just gave a raise to federal workers. Is that fair? Retired Marine Gunnery Sergeant Jesse Jane Duff is with Concerned Veterans for America. And, Sergeant, welcome to the show. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me, Mike. How does this affect you and specifically women? Not just because you're a woman, but this is the topic today. Well, you know, I am a retired Marine. I did serve 20 years on active duty. And to see that they're going to cut retirement benefits for the average E7, which is the rank I was when I retired, that's going to be $3,600 a year, $20,000 that are going to come out of their check. They're going to end up losing $80,000 before they're 62 years old. An officer retiring at 42 years old is going to learn, lose, on average, $124,000. And, you know, when you sit back and think about the sacrifice we made for Paul Ryan to say we are working adults let's think about this we get off of active duty many of us are broke without a job and we have difficulties in our first 10 years getting off of active duty to even be equal to our civilian counterparts mm. so this is an outrageous attitude that they have towards us you mentioned uh, representative paul ryan there he says that it costs a lot to uh, fund a military person just one like forty thousand dollars or forty percent increase in in about 11 years what do you say to that it costs a lot yeah. Uh, you know, what, what Paul Ryan is saying is very misleading. He makes it sound like we got a 41% pay increase. We've never gotten a 41% pay increase. The funding for each person on active duty is a lack of the budget within DOD to be responsible. We have excess dollars going out the wazoo. There are eight trillion dollars that are unaccounted for within DOD because they've never had an audit. We've got supply warehouses from World War II. We have a billion dollars that was spent by the Air Force on a future program that got flushed down the drain. We have money going out the ears, so they're going to sacrifice it out of the pay raise on our active duty military that is not even going to be equal to the rate of inflation. Meanwhile, these families have been deployed three and four times over to Afghanistan and Iraq. We have 450,000 Iraq Afghanistan veterans that are going to retire. And you're going to say, Paul Ryan, that we have an extremely generous benefit? That's an outrageous statement well, you're when you're right talking about, about people's uh, sacrifice. Look into the waste at the DOD. Well, what does this say, though, to, to America? And I think one of the problems, Sergeant, is that not enough of us served in the military. We can't relate. And not enough people in Congress served in the military. You know what? You hit the nail right on the head. To say it's an extremely generous benefit, then, Mr. Ryan, how come more people haven't served? Less than 1% have ever defended this nation. 1% puts themselves in the harm's way every day for this country. And out of that 1%, think about this, less than 17% of that 1% even make it to retirement. Mm -hmm. You've got people with PTSD. You've got people that got to get discharged early for ailments. And yet he's going to say it's a luxury. Sergeant, I love your passion. Thank you for being up Thank early you. with us today. Thank you for having me. Okay, we'll stay on this story, of course. Hey.